Hi everyone, I hope you're having a fabulous day as always. Today I'm going to discuss every single scent family from Lush. So all of this information is from the All Things Lush UK blog. She also has a YouTube channel. I'll link both of those down below in the description box if you want to check it out yourself. Now this is the most comprehensive list I could find on the internet. Um, I know that on the blog she encourages people to write comments underneath um, suggesting any products she's missed or miss um, put in the wrong sort of category that's what I mean um, so yeah you're more than welcome to go over to the blog and make comments or you can make comments below on my video either either um, and I'll definitely pass on those comments uh, to the blog so um, just to begin with basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through each one in alphabetical order and I'm going to discuss whether I like the sound of the scent family, if I've tried things from the scent family before, or if I am looking to buy things from that scent family or experience it if I haven't experienced it before. So that's sort of the tone of the video, just to sort of let you guys know. So let's get straight into it. There may be a few parts this video purely because the amount of stuff to go through is, is it's quite a lot of stuff. Um, so the first one is 13 rabbits and it's chocolate and ginger. And the products in that range are now, once again, these can include limited edition products and discontinued products. Just a heads up. It's got a bath melt and a shower gel available. Now I'm not a fan of ginger. Uh, I, I don't mind it if it's in with other spices and things like that, but chocolate and ginger doesn't really sort of grab me as something I want to buy. 13 Rabbits, it sounds like it was an Easter release from the sound of that. It sounds very Eastery. Um, yeah. Next one is 13 and in brackets, unlucky for dirt. And it's meant to be an oregano, rosemary and rose scent. And it had a soap um, that was a non-vegan soap and an oregano naked solid liquid soap from the Lush Kitchen in 2017. Now, once again, I do love rose. I love rose absolute in products. Uh, oregano rosemary, I'm unsure. I think it could be a very refreshing uh, scent family. Um, but yeah, it's not grabbing me as something I want to explore further. Next one is 29 and in brackets it says Lush Store Fragrance. There was a 29 and a half soap, 29 High Street Liquid Perfume, 29 High Street Solid Perfume from the Lush Kitchen in 2016, 29 High Street Shower Gel, Aubergine Bath Bomb for the Valentine's 2019 range, HQ Perfume, which is the same as the liquid perfume. I know that for a fact. I learnt that from Lush a lot. Kiss Me Quick Business Wash Card, Valentine's Day of 2017 that was released, and Secret Santa Ballistic. So the ballistic um, is an old term for bath bomb. Now, I would love a bottle of 29 High Street perfume. I'm yet to experience it. Um, I will be purchasing the Aubergine Bath Bomb um, online very soon. I just haven't got around to it. I've... I'm waiting to start as a store manager at Lush and hopefully get a discount. I don't know if they do online discounts, but um, if if I do, I'll be purchasing the Aubergine Bath Bomb and giving that a try. Um, I've seen demos of the Aubergine Bath Bomb and I loved how it fizzed up and um, the effect in the water and purple is my absolute favorite color. So I really enjoyed looking at those. And yeah, I'd love a liquid perfume, but unfortunately they only sell that perfume at the pool store. They don't sell it at Oxford Street. They don't sell it online in the UK. It's purely at their flagship store at pool. So my ambition is hopefully one day either with the company um, through my employment or, um, you know, with my own travels through Europe that I'd be able to get a liquid perfume one day. Praying. Um, just to have as a novelty, really. I, even if I don't like the scent, I'd have it as a novelty, but I've heard some really nice things about it. I've heard it's quite, it can be quite a sweet fragrance, but it's got some other bits and pieces in it. So I'm excited. I'm excited to see 
what um, the 29 High Street fragrance is like. Yeah. Next one is A Thousand Kisses, and it's got apricot and mandarin. They have A Thousand Kisses Deep Solid, A uh, Thousand Kisses Deep Liquid Perfume, excuse me, A Thousand Kisses Solid Perfume, Beautiful Shower Gel and Beautiful Shower Sheet. Now, apricot and mandarin sounds very interesting. Um, definitely be interested in having a sniff of something scented uh, with that. Sounds, yeah, I'd be interested in that. Next one is African Paradise, and it's described as sweet and spicy floral. It's got the African Paradise Body Conditioner released in 2014, Heartthrob Bubble Rune for Valentine's Day 2015. Now, the whole, that description of sweet and spicy floral is very vague but it's interesting me <laughs> so i'll definitely yeah if i see something african paradise centered again i'll definitely give it a go next one is after 8 30 a.m massage bar and it's got in brackets mint and chocolate and it's a non-vegan there was a massage bar called after 8 30 and it was non-vegan and there's also the Chocolate Melt Bath Bomb. And I know that they've just released it as Choco Mint, I believe. There's a Choco Mint Bath Bomb. I hope I'm getting that correctly. I'm just going off my own notes and what I know. Mint and chocolate in that sort of in a bath bomb or bathing products doesn't interest me. In a massage bar or a body lotion, I wouldn't mind that. I, I think that would be quite nice. It's just I I don't like the feeling, the tingle of mint or menthol or anything like that on my skin. I don't like it personally. I know a lot of people love it. It's just not my thing. Next one is All Good Things, described as a candy floss and bonfire scent. Uh, All Good Things Liquid Perfume, All Good Things Solid Perfume of 2015. Calm Down Scalp Milk in the Showcase for 2018. Soak and Float Solid Shampoo. Now, that scent sounds really nice. I haven't tried the Soak and Float uh, Solid Shampoo, which I know is still available. Um, but, yeah, I'm interested. It's quite a mix there. Yeah. Next one along is Almond Buttercream. So that's Choc Orange and Vanilla. Uh, Almond Buttercream, it just says. So I'm guessing that's a body lotion or body conditioner. And the Sunflower Soap. Now, this could be really lovely or it could be really horrible. It could have the nice balance of all of those ingredients or it could be too orangey or too vanilla-y and um, throw everything out for the rest of them. So I'd be very interested to smell something like that. I think that would be quite a cool thing. Next one is Amando Pondo, uh, rose and lemon scent. So Amando Pondo bubble bar, Amando Pondo perfume. Amando Pondo Soap, Ring of Roses Buttercream, Ring of Roses Soap, Rose Bubble Bar for Mother's Day 2014. Now, that sounds very interesting because lemon, in my experience and with products that I've used, lemon tends to enhance florals and give them a fresher sort of vibe, which I really like. Um, and I'm a big rose fan, so yeah, I'd definitely give something a try from that range. Now, next is American Cream, which is strawberry and vanilla scented. They have an American Cream body lotion, a conditioner, a liquid perfume, a shower gel from the Lush Kitchen in 2018, American Cream solid perfume, American Cream naked shower gel from Valentine's Day 2019, American Pie body conditioner for Valentine's Day 2019, a American Pie naked body conditioner for Valentine's 2019, a shower jelly, a Flosty Gritter Bubble Bar, Bubble Bar, yep. I Am 10 Bubble Bar, Marshmallow World Bath Bomb, a part of the community favourites for 2018, and Twinkle Bath Ballistic. Now, American Cream is my absolute favourite uh, scent range at Lush. I'm just going to say that right now. Um, I am addicted to it. I've got the conditioner. The conditioner has been my conditioner for many years now. I love it. Um, I do have the shower gel um, from the, well, it says Lush Kitchen 2018, but they bought it back for 
uh, Valentine's 2019 and I've got a couple of bottles of that and I'm going to go and buy more. Um, I have the body conditioner, which I absolutely love, the American Pie scent. I'm going to go and buy more of that as well. And I do have the liquid perfume and they're also, they're actually missing something from here, the perfume oil itself. So I have the American cream perfume oil and the liquid perfume. So I'm quite obsessed. I, I don't describe American cream as strawberries and vanilla. I feel like it is very vanilla, but it's got, um, it's got those tones of lavender and tonka, um, and benzoin in the background. I, I don't really think of it as strawberry to be honest it's probably very faint but I don't smell it and then I sort of smell that clary sage in the background that very faint herbally scent um so if you like vanilla um if you're if you like sleepy or if you feel sleepy is too lavendery American cream is the one for you so the next one is Emily May and it's scented with rose violet and lavender Emily May Fun Bar was in the Gorilla Perfume Showcase of 2017 and the Emily May Liquid Perfume uh, from 2016. I know it's still available. Um, I smelt this in store. I didn't think much of it. I thought it was too sweet, to be honest. Um, for floral, I thought it was way too sweet. And it just didn't – I don't know. I think it was the violet. I, I just – I'm not a violet person. I think that might have been what sort of – triggered me I guess and made me not want to uh, purchase next one is Angel's Delight which is scented with the fruit punch scent Angel's Delight soap magic wand which was for Halloween 2016 and the tennis ball bath bomb uh, it sounds interesting fruit punch sounds very interesting once again it could be one of those ones that either fails spectacularly or lands really well um, I have the I love juicy um, shampoo which I really love and I feel that's sort of a very fruity smell so I don't know I'd have to see and see if I like it next one is Aura Su Suavis so they've got the Aura Suavis bubble bar and the Aura Suavis shower gel now they don't list any specific ingredients beside it so I can't really um, comment too much on it um, I have seen the shower gel on eBay, someone fetching a ridiculous price for a two thirds used bottle. I think it was like forty dollars or something ridiculous like that. Um, and it was like a a sort of cherry red color. So that's all I know about that. Unfortunately, I can't make too much of a comment because I don't really know anything else about that scent. Next one is Abo Bath, which is lime and lemongrass. They've got the Abo Bath Ballistic. Avo Jelly Shower Jelly, Avo Wash Shower Gel, Cracker Snap Ballistic, Available Christmas 2012, Ghost in the Dark Soap, Halloween 2018, and Luck of the Irish Bath Bomb Lush Kitchen 2017. So lime and lemongrass sounds pleasant to me. Um, I, I don't see how that could be a problematic mix. Yeah, it would be very refreshing, very uplifting. I wouldn't mind trying that. Yeah. Next one is the avocado co-wash described as a lemon or lime cheesecake. Personally, I've, I've smelt it and I feel it's sort of like a lemon lime lolly, sort of like, you know, like one of those Starburst lollies or a Skittle or something like that. That's how I sort of um, feel it smells. So they've got the avocado co-wash body spray, uh, community favorites 2018. They've got the avocado co-wash hair shampoo which is from Oxford Street 2015. The Avocado No Wash Body Lotion is Lush Kitchen 2018. Very smart on the name there. Avocado Wash Naked Shower Gel, Valentine's Day 2019. Avocado Wash Shower Gel, Valentine's Day 2019. Avocado Wash Shower Gel, Lush Kitchen 2018. So it might have been a different formula. Don't Touch My Hair Hair Marshmallow, which was in the Lush Showcase of 2018. The Melusinine the Melusinine Bath Bomb, part of the Community Favourites of 2018. And the Minamisoma Shower Oil, Lush Summit of 2018. Now, I have used the Avocado Co-Wash Hair Shampoo slash Conditioner. I quite enjoy it. I love the scent. I love the product. Um, 
yeah, the scent is just, oh, it's phenomenal. It's, it's amazing how they can get it to smell like that. I have no idea how they do it, but somehow they do it. And I, I was unlucky not to pick up any of the shower gel this year. Um, by the time I got my ass down there and onto it, they'd already sold out. So bummer, no luck for me, unfortunately in Australia. Next one is Banana Moon, and it's just scented like banana. Uh, we've got the Banana Moon Soap, Gumback Express Shower Smoothie, and Little Monkey Bubble Bar. I love banana, so that's an easy sell for me. Anything banana, I'd love it. <laughs> I'd really like it in a body conditioner or a lotion. Uh, that would be really enjoyable. I, that, I think that would be the best way to enjoy it. Next one is Bathos, which is Violet and Clove. Bathos Bubble Bar, Bathos Liquid Bubble Bath, and a Bathos Liquid Perfume released in 2007. Definitely not what I would be looking for in um, my bath products. I am not a huge fan of Clove. I'm not a huge fan of Violet. Yeah, definitely not my taste. Maybe together they're nice, but not for me. Next one is B Electro, spelt just with the letter B. Uh, grapefruit and jasmine it's described as so they've got the b electro shower gel the b scent liquid perfume and the divine whale soap released in 2011 i love grapefruit i love jasmine um, i know they've done that mix together for a couple of bath bombs i don't know the names um but they've done it with other scents on top of the grapefruit and the jasmine it hasn't just been that so i think it would be nice i think it'd be good Next one is Be Never Too Busy to Be Beautiful, and that is scented with honey and lang lang. Be Never Too Busy to Be Beautiful Shower Gel, Flying Saucers Bubble Bar, Honey Bee Have Dusting Powder, Honey Comfort Bath Bomb, Honey Waffle Soap. I love honey, I love lang lang. Sounds nice to me. Next one is Berry Berry Christmas. Uh, scented with cranberry, bergamot and orange, berry berry Christmas naked shower gel Christmas 2017, berry berry Christmas shower gel Christmas 2017, so oh naked and a normal one sorry, revelations bath oil lush summit 2017, sounds very nice, I like bergamot, I like orange, I like cranberry, cranberry is always such a Christmassy scent I feel and I think that that would be a fantastic um, combination yeah next one is Bertie and the scent is licorice vanilla and lemon bar humbug bubble bar and a Bertie soap uh, I'm not a fan of licorice I reckon with the vanilla and lemon though it could balance out it's one of those ones I probably have to smell before I could make a real decision on whether I would like it or not um, I know that the pan galactic Gargle Blaster uh, mouthwash tabs have lemon and licorice in them. I don't know about vanilla. Um, and I know that they aren't super licorice -y. They do have the background scent, but yeah. So I don't know if it would be a similar sort of principle to that. Just a guess. Yeah. Next one is Big, which is salt and citrus scent. They've got the Big Body Spray, which is a community favourite in 2018, Big Liquid Perfume, Big Shampoo and Seaweed Giant Bombshell for the showcase in 2018. I have smelt Big. I It's not my favourite. I'm not a salt and citrus like together person. It's just not my sort of thing. Um, I don't like very sharp citrus I like it to be balanced with some floral or some woodiness or some sort of earthiness I don't like just the salt and citrus next one is big blue described as oceanic sea salt and lavender there was a big blue ballistic big blue bloody body conditioner for lush kitchen in 2017 bowling under bubble bar Enchanted Island Bath Melt, Flotsam Soap from 2000, so that's an old one, Mermaid Ballistic from 2013, and Sea Vegetable Soap. Now, 
I know a lot of people love sea vegetable soap and I'm so behind. I'm I'm still a new lushy. I think I have to maybe have a smell of the sea vegetable soap because um, I think the sea salt and lavender together could work. I think um, it could be nice. I just have to see for myself. Next one is Big Calm. So it's a coconut and pineapple scent. It says Big, pa uh, Big Calm Body Lotion from the Lush Kitchen in 2017. Big Calm Shower Jelly and Big Calm Solid Perfume. I love coconut. I love pineapple. I reckon it'd be very refreshing and creamy and a bit of everything. I quite enjoy that. Quite tropical. Yeah. Next one is called the Black Blackberry Bath Bomb Scent. Berry scented, it says. So Bewitched Bubble Bar for Halloween 2017, Blackberry Bath Bomb, Sultana Body Lotion, Lush Kitchen 2018, Sultana Shower Gel for Lush Kitchen of 2018, Sultana of Skin Body Conditioner, Sultana of Soap, Soap. I've heard really nice things about the Sultana of Soap and the Sultana of Skin. Um, and the Blackberry Bath Bomb has just come back as a limited release with the Harajuku collection. I, I'd be very interested in this. I mean, berry scented, you can't really go wrong, can you? Sounds lovely. Next one is Black Pearl, which is a Blackberry scent. And it's got the Black Pearl Ballistic, the Liquid Perfume, and the Shower Gel. So Blackberry is lovely. I would love it in a shower gel. And probably a perfume as well. And probably a ballistic or a bath bomb. I'd love that. I think it'd be lovely. Next one along is Blue Skies. Described as a frankincense and cinnamon scent. And it has the Beanie Bubble Bar. Factory only 2016 release. Blue Skies and Fluffy White Clouds Bubble Bar. Blue Skies Liquid Bubble Bath. All Blue Skies is back shower gel. Now, I have to add something to that list. There is also a Blue Skies and Fluffy White Clouds bath bomb with the 30th anniversary Harajuku release. Um, I'm interested in this. I haven't smelt the bath bomb yet that's come in. I Yeah, I'm on the fence about this one. I'm not sure yet. I'd have to smell it and give you an answer. Next one is Bon Bomb. Uh, described as a lemon sherbet scent, Bon Bomb Bath Bomb and Fanfare Ballistic. I, I reckon it could be nice. Like I said, I don't like my citrus overly acidic um, and sort of in your face. So I'm unsure if it would be too over the top or, um, yeah, appropriate for that sort of thing. I don't know. We'll have to have to wait and see. Breath of God, fruity and woody. So we've got the liquid perfume. We've got the toothy tabs. Uh, inhale, exhale, ballistic for Mother's Day 2014. And under the umbrella tree, bath bomb, Lush Labs 2018. Sounds interesting. Fruity and woody could be good, but I don't know much else about it. I haven't tried the toothy tabs. I think I may have smelt them once and I wasn't too keen on the smell. Uh, but I, I honestly cannot remember. Next one is The Bright Side, Fizzy Tangerine, Mandarin and Bergamot. We've got the Body Lotion from the Lush Kitchen in 2017. We've got the Bubble Bar from 2013. The Solid Perfume from the Lush Kitchen in 2017. Here Comes the Sun Naked Shower Cream in Easter 2018. The Jester Reusable Bubble Bar for Christmas 2016. And Sunrise Soap. Love the sound of all of those. And I think there is a bath bomb that is smelling like that, but I don't think it's called Brightside that's been released with the Harajuku collection. If anyone knows the bath bomb, please leave it down below. Next one is The Bug. So it's described as Galbanon and Sandalwood. We've got the Bug Liquid Perfume and Bug, bug Splat Ballistic. I don't know what Galbanon is. Sounds like a, some sort of plant, like a flower with the U-M on the end. And sandalwood, well, everyone loves sandalwood. Everyone loves it, so um, men and women. So could be interesting. Sounds a bit mysterious and dark. Next one along is Butterball, which is a vanilla scent. 
got the Angel Hair Solid Shampoo Bar for Lush Labs 2018. We've got the Butterball Bath Bomb, the Body Conditioner, Body Lotion, which was a Lush Kitchen 2018 exclusive. Got the Liquid Perfume, which is a Lush Community 2018. The Perfume Oil as a Lush Community 2018. The Shower Gel, the Bath Ballistic Christmas 2014. Shower Jelly Christmas 2018. The X Factor Bath Bomb, as in EX. Gentle Lentil Solid Shampoo. Peace, Peace Pioneers Shower Oil, Lush Showcase 2018. And the Snowman Ballistic, which was Christmas 2013. I have tried the Butterball Bath Bomb. Wasn't overly impressed uh, with the level of vanilla smell. It was quite mild. I was expecting a bit more from that bath bomb. Um, I am looking to purchase the liquid perfume. Even though the liquid perfume has been described as having a Lang Lang smell to it, um, I'm very interested in giving that a try. Next one along is the Caluckus Day of the Dead scent. Uh, it's got a fruit pastel lime scent is the description. So I've got Ag Bogloshi Bath Bomb for the Lush Summit of 2018. I've got the Caluckus Body Lotion released by the Lush Kitchen in 2017 and 2018. I've got the Caluckus Body Spray released in the Community Favourites for 2018. I've got the Caluckus Shower Gel, Caluckus Shower Jelly, Caluckus Day of the Dead Perfume. Calavera Bath Bomb, the Enchanter Bath Bomb, Lady Katrina Soap, or yeah, Katrina, Katrina, yep. Yeah. Man in the Moon Bubble Bar for Christmas 2017, Monsters Ball Bath Bomb for Halloween 2016, and the Skull Duggery Ballistic. Um, from what I've heard, it is very similar in scent to Avocado Co Wash. So I'm I'm going to be interested to give that a go and see um, what happens with that one. Yeah. Let me just see what time I'm on. Hang on. Oh, we're already at 27 minutes. What, I, what I'll do is I'll finish up all the C ones. I didn't realize it was going to take this long. Oh, there's quite a few C ones. Okay. I might just rush through the C ones and make it an ABC uh, format and then we'll continue on. The next one I've got is carrot, so it's lemon, bushu, and bergamot is the smell. Got a bunch of carrots reusable wobble bars for Easter 2014. Asta La Vista soap for Lush Labs 2018. The carrot bubble bar, the carrot soap for Easter 2014. The snowman fun for Christmas 2014. And the snowman jelly for Christmas 2014 as well. Sounds interesting. I like bergamot. I like lemon. I don't know what buku or bushu is. I have no idea what that is. I'm guessing it's something that gives it a earthy sort of carroty smell. Interesting. Next one is called New Charity Pot, described as a rosewood and vanilla scent. I've got the Charity Pot Body Lotion, the Naked Body Lotion, and the Self-Preserving Body Lotion. I have the Charity Pop Body Lotion. I enjoy it. I feel it's more a Lang Lang scent, to be honest, Lang Lang and vanilla. Um, but I do get that rosewood and the woodiness underneath. I, I completely understand that. And, yeah, I love the product. Nice smell. Really enjoy that. Next one is the Charity Pot or the formulae known as the Chocolate and Rose. Um, so... That came in a body lotion and a donkey OT ballistic. So it's obviously the old formula. Chocolate and rose sounds nice. I am not, you know, dying to try the old charity pot or anything like that. But, yeah, sounds interesting. Next one is Cheer Up Buttercup, described as a lemon lime scent. Cheer Up Buttercup bath bomb for the summit of 2017. And a Christmas cracker bubble bar for Christmas 2017. A lot of lemon lime going on here, isn't there? Um, once again, if it's too citrusy and there's nothing to cut through it, I don't really like it. I feel it's too fresh. Um, so, yeah, I I wouldn't have a clue because I wasn't a Lushy in 2017, unfortunately. I've only just recently become one in the last six months. So, yeah, 
Next one is Chris Tingle, described as peppermint, spearmint and grapefruit. Got a Chris Tingle body conditioner for Christmas 2015, Chris Tingle naked body conditioner for Christmas 2017 and an Eskimo bubble bar for Lush Oxford Street 2017. I'm not a fan of peppermint and spearmint being in um, sort of bathing products and most body products unless they're being balanced out. Um, grapefruit's nice. I, I'm not familiar with these products, so I can't really comment any further if I like it or not. It's something I'd have to try. Um, but as a general rule, I don't like that menthol feeling on my skin. Next one is Christmas Eve, described as a floral scent. And they had a Christmas Eve bubble bar. They had the Northern Lights Ballistic. The, oh, no, Northern Nights, not Northern Lights. Northern Nights Ballistic Halloween 2014. Updated Northern Lights Ballistic for winter 2016. Princess Bomb Bomb for Christmas 2018. And a Santa Fun for Christmas 2015. I love florals. Hopefully it's a nice floral, not old lady floral, if you get my drift. Um, yeah, I'd love to experience something like that if it does come out for Christmas this year or at a different time. Next one is Cinders, described as a cinnamon smell. Uh, they brought out a bath bomb, a liquid perfume, the naked shower gel for Christmas 2018 and the regular shower gel for Christmas 2018 as well. I actually picked up a bottle of the shower gel in the Christmas 2018 Boxing Day sale and I quite enjoyed it. It's not my favorite thing in the world, but it was nice and spicy. I got more from it than just cinnamon. I felt it was a bit more like it had a bit of clove or something else. And there was the woodiness um, and there was a bit of a citrus note. I think there was Brazilian orange oil or something like that in there. I quite enjoyed that. Um, I would buy it again. I would buy it again if it came around. I would. I, it would be probably one of those things that if I'd spent too much on other things, I wouldn't buy it, but yeah. Next one is Cocktail, described as a Lang Lang Jasmine and Orange Blossom scent. We've got the Cocktail Liquid Perfume, the Solid Perfume, the Wash, wash That Man Right Out of Your Hair Shower Gel and Shower Sheet, which were a part of Oxford Street 2015. I love Lang Lang, I love Jasmine, uh, Jasmine, <laughs> Jasmine, and Orange Blossom, so I don't see how that could go wrong. Who knows? Next one is the Comforter. So it's a very popular scent family here. It's a fruity black currant scent. We've got the Bath Bomb from the Community Favourites of 2018 and it's been re-released in the Harajuku collection. Got the Body Conditioner for, from Lush Kitchen in 2017. The Body Lotion, the Comforter Shower Cream from Oxford Street 2015. The Shower Gel, the Bubble Bar, the Fun Bar from 2014. Liquid Perfume, Solid Perfume, Free Ranger's Bath Bomb for Easter 2018, Luxury Lush Pud Bath Bomb Christmas 2018, Oopsie Daisy Bubble Bar, Poppy Soap from Lush Labs in 2018, Reindeer Rock Soap from Christmas 2014, Sweetie Pie Shower Jelly, You Snap the Whip Body Bar, Cherry Ripe Massage Bar, and Cherry Ripe Body Lotion, obviously spelt C H E. R I E because have a look at this. I'm in the process of eating one right now. Cherry Ripe is actually the name of a chocolate bar. Look, I'm halfway through it. <laughs> um, in Australia, and it's actually owned by Cadbury, which is originally a UK company. So that's why they couldn't name it Cherry as in Cherry because it's probably copyrighted. There you go, fun fact. I like the comforter. I've had the bubble bar. Um, I think everyone has who's a Lushy at some point. I mean, it's it, it's not my favourite. It's not something I'm going to die over if um, it does get discontinued. Um, but I, I'd be keen to explore more of the range, particularly the body lotion. I didn't get my hands on it um, when it was available and the body conditioner. I really love Lush's body conditioners. So that would definitely be something I'd be interested in. Next one is Creamy Candy, and it is a, described as Raspberry Bubblegum Scent. We've got it as a Bunny Bubble Bar for Easter 2014, Candy Cane Bubble Bar, Candy Floss Shouder for Oxford Street 2015. Let me know in the comments what Shouder is. Candy Mountain Bubble Bar, 
and a candy mountain bubble bar in a slice for Christmas 2018, close to you massage bar for Valentine's 2014, creamy candy bubble bar, creamy candy liquid perfume, and Rockstar soap. Now I have smelt the Rockstar soap and it does smell like raspberry bubble gum. It is very sweet. Uh, it's got the little stars in it. It's sort of like a purpley pink, more pink. Um, yeah, I'm considering buying the Rockstar soap at the moment. I think it'd be lovely in a perfume, creamy candy. I think that would be really nice. Yeah, I don't mind the smell. Next is Cream Anglaise, which is described as a villain vanilla and almond scent. So we've got Bubble Grub Bubble Rune, Cream Anglaise Body Lotion, Glorious Mud Body Mask, Pot of Gold Shower Jelly for Easter 2015, Three Gold Rings Bubble Bar. That's a nice name. Uh, vanilla and Almond, can't go wrong. Sounds lovely. Never smelt it. I, I would be happy blind buying something based on that description. Sounds nice. Next one is Cupcake Chocolate Orange is the, is the scent family. Got the cupcake face mask, and I should say it's the fresh face mask. Um, they haven't put fresh on there, but it is. And the mud body mask. I've smelt cupcake. I don't think it's orangey. I feel it's more minty. I got a real mint vibe from it, and I it wasn't my favorite. Um, I know a lot of people swear by cupcake, and they love the smell and what it does for their skin. I may try it one day, just not quite yet. And the last one for the letter C is cyanide, and it's described as cedarwood, lemon, and almond. And a fun fact as well, cyanide is meant to smell like almonds. I don't know about taste, but that's where they got that name from, because of the almonds. Got the 31 States Bath Bomb 2017, cyanide bath ballistic from Oxford Street in 2015, Got the Cyanide Liquid Perfume, Volume 3 Installation 2014, Hand of Friendship Soap, North America 2016. I'd love to give it a try. I know a lot of people love the Cyanide Bath Ballistic back when that was a thing. Um, yeah, sounds very good, but it's all sort of limited releases by the looks of it. Anyway, if you liked this video, stay tuned for more. Please leave a comment down below. Please thumbs up this video and subscribe if you're new. And until the next installment, take care and bye-bye.